Hi, I'm Joe Justice in the Linwood, Washington shop. It's May 2013, and in front of me is car number one, the first car we ever made, the car we campaigned in the X Prize. Although it's gone through many iterations since then. We had four seats in it during the X Prize. Here we have a two seat interior module, but I'm going to walk through the modules. Here's a suspension module. All four are the same. They have a suspension mount plate, which is 20 inches by 24 inches, and we can go 24 by 24 if that's what somebody wants. It's quarter inch thick, 6061 T6 aluminum, and these eight bolt locations are the contract. Anything with those eight bolts can attach, jet skis, tank treads, whatnot. This is the suspension mount plate. This is the strut top mount. Here is a strut. In this case, it's a Skunk 2 Pro C damper from a 2006 Honda Civic. This is the front suspension configuration, even though we're on the rear of the Wiki Speed car. Inside is the braking system and the knuckle or upright from a 2006 Honda Civic, again from the front. And then these Motegi wheels, we can use any size wheels that will fit on a 2006 to 2011 Honda Civic. These Motegi wheels are 17 inch wheels and these have snow tires on actually for snow testing. Down here on the bottom is our lower control arm or LCA. It's in an A shape so it can be called an A arm. It bolts on with two spherical rod end bearings uh, or heim joints. We get these from NCI? I'll have to remember the, the name. NTN also makes a good unit, but we have to make sure that the radial loading, as opposed to the axial loading, is at least 16 G's of the car. And uh, so that's their grade 8 steel, not their generic one. Now these are 3.8 size, so it's absolutely their grade 8, 3.8 size to have the correct radial loading as opposed to axial loading. Um, this is the toe um, the toe adjuster, this is the tie rod end from the front of a 2006 Honda Civic, and we put it in an L bracket, which is bolted directly to the A-arm, which does induce bump steer. So we have an articulated uh, system being prototyped now. Currently this lets us test, but it, on over a bump it will add toe to the car. So that's one suspension module, there's four, there are eight modules all together. Here's the engine module. In this version of the engine, engine module, we have a rear-mounted cooling system. It's the radiator from a 2006 Honda Civic. This is a Honda R18A, and it's stock five-speed automated automatic transmission. We now use fuel cells from RCI. This is an ATL fuel cell, but it's not compatible with a fuel sending unit to tell us fuel level. So now we use RCI tanks, which can come with a fuel sending unit. Many of the electronics are stock Honda. Stock Honda ECU, we use a Honda Flash Pro to reprogram it, stock fuse box, although we have made changes to all of these items. Um, our fuel system is uh, fully in-house. We use an in-house fuel pump, an in-house fuel pressure regulator. Those are the highlights of the engine module. Here is our rear crush structure. It's a 6x6 six six of... Uh, 5053 aluminum, which is softer than 6061 T6. All the crust structure are a softer grade of aluminum than the frame. The frame is all 8th uh, inch thick 6061 T6 that's been TIG welded, and we're prototyping a bolt together system. So we've talked about the suspension modules, the frame as a module, the engine module, the rear crust structure, and as we go around, here are the side crush structures. They count as one module. There's two of them. Here's the interior module. It lifts out like a bathtub. This is version V4 in here now. And the stereo connects to it. Here's its wiring connection to the body. We use a four-pin trailer connection to go from the interior module with its controls for turn signal, headlights, that kind of thing, brake lights, to the body. This plugs in. That guy too? Here's the front crust structure. You can see it's quite a bit longer to absorb the higher impact loads. And then this plate is our pedal plate module, or our control module. It has the steering rack. This is the steering rack from a Honda S2000. Uh, we've used the steering rack from a 2006 Honda Civic before, and now we're prototyping our own. Here is a brake master cylinder from um, uh, Willwood, and we use a Willwood brake pedal as well. 
We use the accelerator pedal from a 2006 Honda Civic. Um, we use a brake distribution valve from Willwood as well. So with the accelerator pedal, the brake pedal, the brake master cylinder, and the steering rack, that's all of the controls of the car, and they're on one plate. So by unbolting this plate, which is bow tie shaped, so we have access to reach in here and unscrew the front of uh, our suspension modules. We need that access. So it's cut like a bow tie. We can change the entire control system at once. Then the only module that's not visible right now, we just took it off, is the body, the aero shell. And currently they're carbon fiber, they sit on top, and this aero shell, I think it bolts on here, here, and two holes on the back. This piece of aluminum it bolts onto is called the body top mount frame. The body top mount frame bolts onto the chassis at all four corners, like, like here, and it's our interface between the body. So each body has a different shape, so it has different pedestal heights to bolt onto. This is the adapter between the chassis and whatever body we use. So as we switch bodies, we switch this as well. It's considered part of the body. Sometimes we'll drive the car without it at all. Put a license plate right on the car and put headlights and taillights right on the chassis. Um, but when we put on a carbon body, we use this interface, the body top mount frame, to connect to it. And those are the eight modules of the Wikispeed car. We have our suspension module. There's four of them, but it's one module type. Side crust structures, front crust structure, rear crust structure, frame, interior module, engine module, pedal plate, and aero shell or body. Uh, I just said nine. How did I miscount? <laughs> Those are the modules of the WikiSpeed car. I hope the comments helped me figure out what I just said wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Arun.